Kpaso, Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Here's your weekly word. I started with Gemini, the cycle. Jupiter moves into Aries on May 10th. Today is May 5th. And Mercury goes retrograde in Gemini on May 10th. I feel like there's going to be a collective sigh of relief when Jupiter leaves Pisces for Aries. Could be wrong, but it seems like a good transit to me. Aries is my eighth house. So I don't know. I know the eighth house is the house of Scorpio and it can be really dark and something really dramatic could happen. I don't know, but uh, I'm just tired of the murk and the delusion of Pisces. Jupiter amplifies whatever it touches. And so Jupiter being conjunct Neptune and Pisces, to me, it seemed like delusions were amplified. And there was just a lot of confusion in the collective. The Empress. Reina de Copas, Queen of Cups. El Hermitaño, the Hermit, Four of Pentacles, Cuatro de Oros, Four of Swords, Cuatro de Espadas, and Sota de Espadas, Page of Swords. Okay. You're taking time out. You're breathing in, you're breathing out. You've got a journal or journals. I have journals and you're scribbling in them furiously. Um, it's like I say all the time, usually I don't get out of bed until I've meditated at least half an hour. I do Mary Kate's guided meditations. I look in a mirror, I affirm the fuck out of myself. I scrawl in my manifestation journals my dream journal, whatever, um, I have to get centered. And I've not done that these past two days and I'm feeling it. So it's time for a hard reset. Um, I don't know. The energy has been crazy for me ever since Mercury went into Gemini a few days ago. And we've got a lot of plans for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Usually nothing's going on. I'm very fortunate. It's me, my son, and his dad, my ex. And things are very quiet and peaceful, but we're going to have all this company on this, this weekend for Mother's Day. Anyway, um, you could be taking some time out. You could be doing a hard reset. You're taking excellent care of yourself, you're checking in with yourself. You could be reassessing what you require in the context of a romantic sexual relationship. Please clarify the Empress over Four of Pentacles, one card. This is where you're coming from. Five of Cups, Cinco de Copas. You could have been eating your heart out for someone who did not return your affection. It could have been unrequited. I mean, that's what Five of Cups is, just this imbalance, feeling all these emotions for someone who's not showing up and they're not reciprocating. So you could be healing from an unhealthy, imbalanced relationship. Please clarify Queen of Cups over Four of Swords, one card. El Loco, the Fool. You may have rushed into a relationship. Maybe you ignored the red flags and now you're licking your wounds. I've beat myself up a lot uh, 
for a pseudo relationship that I got pulled into around this time last year on Instagram. I just thought, fuck, all that I've been through, all my hard earned wisdom, I should know better. I saw the red flags. I ignored them. I'm human. I was hungry. It had been a long time. So this thirsty fuck boy slides into the DMs at Instagram and I went there. This was someone I'd had a crush on for years. And I guess the crush was mutual, but he wasn't crushing that damn hard because after a couple of sexting sessions, a few messages back and forth, um, he flaunted this chick on his Instagram page. It was ridiculous. I'm not 14. I'm not 24. I'm not 34. I'm not 44. My fucking God, I'm 49. And I don't have time for that kind of nonsense. So anyway, I blocked him. I deleted my Instagram and I said, okay, that's it for me. I'm hanging up my spurs. And I've said that before, but I keep going back to the rodeo. But that was the last. Um, I'll never ignore the red flags again. I'll never rush into something again. I don't care how long the dry spell has been. Um, it's just, it's not worth the bullshit. It's like I'm always saying, no human being on this planet is worth your peace of mind. Please clarify the Hermit over Page of Swords one card. Ray de Bostos, King of Wands. You're claiming your badass Aries energy. You're slowly coming back to life. You're coming back to who you are, your true nature. You're regaining what you lost. You've got your power back. You fell off the horse and you're getting back on. And by that, I don't mean that you're rushing back into the shark infested waters of the dating scene, wherever your dating scene is. I don't mean you're all over tender. You could be, but you're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling good about your life. You're in a high vibration. You're taking care of yourself. Six more cards for Aries, say Smos, poor five four. Eight of Pentacles, my favorite card, Ocho de Oros. Five of Swords, Cinco de Espadas, King of Cups, Rey de Copas, Six of Wands, Seis de Bastos, Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas, Two of Wands, Dos de Bastos. Maybe you're talking to a few different people. Maybe you've got your options narrowed down to two people. Uh, someone who has a lot of water, in their natal chart, I'm seeing Cancer, but of course it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone who has more air, someone who could be a few years younger than you. I'm seeing Gemini, but Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this is what you want to manifest, but you're in no rush. You want to manifest healthy, high vibration relationship of reciprocity, mutuality. You have things in common, shared values, shared interests. You have things to talk about beyond the sexual attraction. The sexual attraction is there, but you make each other laugh. Um, you have a good time just being together. You don't have to go on some elaborate date. You don't have to get on a plane and go to Fiji. You can just hang out and it just feels good being around each other. That's what you want to manifest. Um, so I feel like you're alone. I don't feel like you're in a relationship right now. You could be talking to someone, talking to a few different people, but you're keeping your options open and you're keeping it light. You're not desperate. You're not manic. You're good. You're solid. That's what I see for Aries. I hope that helps. I am always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the infos in every box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.